Well, another night on the 97V8 Sahara project. Got the frame all finished last time, and the POR15 did dry a pretty consistent satin black. So for now, I'll just leave that alone. Tonight, my intention is to get the axles and control arms and steering components out of the uh, rotted frame and transfer them over to the uh, the good frame. I'm not going to take the time to do any refinishing or sanding or painting or or anything to make the axles and trailing arms and track bars and so forth look new. I'm just going to get the axles under the the new frame uh, with some different springs. I found a set of Rubicon Express uh, two inch lifted shocks in my stock room. I must have bought them for a previous project and never used them. I also found a Rubicon steering damper and some uh, shock boots as well. So not my favorite shock but as I've stated before in these videos they're economical, they look the part, they're perfect for a two inch lift and that's all I think I'm going to do with the suspension on this particular project. I want to go two, maybe two and a half suspension and then a one inch body lift and then a 33 inch tire when it's all done and just keep it all fairly stock running gear underneath. Again the intent is not to keep this Jeep um, if I was, I'd probably put a long arm kit and some new axles and, and really go to town on it. But we get all these components, they work, we'll get it together, get the engine in. And the main objective is to get this thing running. Got the axles all stripped out of the old rotted frame. Just want to steal a couple more things off of this before we slice it up for scrap metal. Stripped out the sway bar, uh, steering box, steering shaft, and like I said before, I'm going to leave the axles intact. It's much easier to just swap them over as a unit. I know it's an old crappy Dana 30 in the front. And I've got the uh, original Dana 35 in the rear. But the bolts didn't come out with too much difficulty. Had to heat up a lot of them, but none of them broke. So we'll slide the axles under the new frame just to get it rolling. Get some uh, springs and shocks in there tonight. New steering damper. Get most everything hooked back up. And that way we can work on setting the engine and transmission into the, uh, into the frame. Get everything lined up, modify the mounts as necessary. In the drivetrain and so forth. So let's pop the axles in there. Try to get that much done tonight. Got accomplished what, or most of what I wanted to do tonight. Got the axles out of that rotted frame. And that frame's in the scrap metal pile. Um, all installed in the new frame with a two inch budget boost in the rear, stock springs, new shocks, and some Grand Cherokee V8 cargo coils in the front with new shocks up front as well. So, next time, uh, the plan is to get the skid plate installed and drop in the engine and transmission transfer case and see how it all lines up and hopefully at that point I can just leave all that installed uh, get some plumbing down on the brakes and then work on the body once the body's on there things will move pretty quick so that's enough for tonight and next time We'll see how the motor fits.